Hello Race of Gamers! If you clicked on this video, it means that you want to know if Talisman Online is worth playing in 2022, stick till the end and you will know my first impression about this old school action MMORPG that was released in 2007. That being said, let's begin with the first thing we do in any game, making the avatar that will represent us. Ok, so the game presents me the classes, they are few in number, 6 to tell you the truth. Those are, the monk, a big dude, maybe the tank, a male and female wizard, they are a little bit unusual from classic wizards from other games. They have magic flying swords as weapons, something that is inspired from eastern culture. Next we have assassin, fairy and tamer. I picked the monk class because I like big buffed melee classes. That sounded a little inappropriate but let's ignore it for the moment. So I started my journey into talisman online. Ok, so let's talk about the gameplay mechanics of the game. First I thought that the game was top down but then I saw that I can change the camera angle a little bit. You use your mouse click to move and this game has auto pathing too. What can I say about this feature? It is what it is. It seems my monk class has an energy bar to fill with auto attacks and then use that for skills. One cool thing that you can do in Talisman Online is that you can upgrade your weapon with energy that you earn from killing monsters. If you reach a certain level for your weapon you will unlock new skills. You can upgrade with this system two more talismans that you can equip and they have different skills in forms of buffs for short duration or towns. You also receive inheritance points to put out into your existing skills for them to do more damage or something like that. Another aspect of that I observe is that if you want to use a potion, you will have to rest for it to successfully activate and you can't enter into another fight or it will be cancelled. The combat in this game is top targeted, a thing that I don't really like. Also, you don't have so many skills to use and the game has auto pathing, a feature that I hate, but maybe I will start to like it in all games that I only cover for a short time. Despite all of that, I liked Talisman Online and felt really engaged in the gameplay. I didn't get bored only when walking from an NPC to the monster's location and back when delivering the quest. I couldn't wait to see what zone would I encounter next, because they changed pretty much or what creatures I will have to kill for the next mission because there was a big variety of them. Like this thick boy. Each class has two types of weapons. For my monk, I had a spear-like thing that was called a shovel, and it was more a DPS focused weapon with combo chain skills. The other weapon was a staff that had a blocking chain passive against the damage you received and used fire for skills and was stronger in my opinion, at least for early gameplay. The gear in this game changes your appearance and that is always a plus. I even saw a lot of great looking high level players and yeah, they were plenty, which was an unexpected thing, but a good one whatsoever. Another thing that I loved is that I didn't got any loot boxes to open from 5 to 5 levels with incredible OP items. Thank god for the absence of that. If you want a rushed experience, buy a max level boost and that is ok for me. Let's talk about the story and the questing in this game. Well, there seems to be no story or cutscenes. Maybe you will find one if you stay and read all the mission stacks, but who got time for that? You get straight to killing mobs, the questing system is the usual one, fetch quest and kill x amount of monsters, and because of the auto pathing it is a little bit boring because this is all you have to do, but still engaging though. But because the movement is so bad in this game and you have plenty of walking to do, I will let the auto pathing in a good like this time. In all my playthrough, I didn't got any different kind of mission, so that is a bad aspect of the game. I don't know how endgame is and what it has to offer though, maybe it will change things. Let's talk about the graphics and the atmosphere of the game. About the graphics of the game, I can't really say much because they are outdated but it is expected to be like this from a 2007 game, but they were ok, at least for me, and didn't bother with them so much. Surprisingly, we have a few servers to choose from and I picked one populated, and it seems pretty populated indeed for a game that old. One player even made me his apprentice, and I saw a lot of players with cool looking mounts. Another player even gave me a Tiger Mount 2 and a level 40 yellow rarity item, so I think the game has a helpful community and a pretty big one too because I saw something like 4 servers really populated and then another 6 that were ok. A good thing maybe would be server merge, but I don't know if you have server like Warzone, then it wouldn't make any sense. Leave in the comments and tell me what is the situation with the game. Ok, before we will talk about pros and cons, you can support the channel and my mental health with a like. It will let me know if you enjoy the content, also you can be part of the legacy that I want to leave in this world by subscribing. It would motivate me to see someone appreciates what I do and I will be uploading more videos about games, for you to know if you should try them or not. Also, feel free to comment if you think otherwise, I would like to know your opinion too and love any feedback. 
And don't forget, I try games so you don't have to waste your time. In conclusion, let's talk about the fun factor of Talisman Online. Despite being such an old MMORPG, I could find a really dedicated community of players still playing it hardcore even today and that is always a great thing to see. The combat, although basic, it was engaging enough, but I don't know in how much time you will start to lose interest in it. I had fun with this game even with auto-pathing my missions and killing mindless hordes of monsters, so I think it talks for itself with this argument. Although, maybe the game is pretty repetitive, like all old MMORPGs, I really had fun with Talisman Online, and I think you should try it, because you will find players to help if you need it and you will have someone to play with. So, it is worth playing in 2022 after my first impressions with the game? Absolutely. Go give it a try. Irene approves. Ok, thank you guys for watching and supporting my videos by liking and subscribing to them. See you next time, and may the gods of good drops be with you in your grindy days.